Hi everyone, it's Crafty Kathy here with another challenge accepted. And as we're doing every Thursday this month, we're taking on another of the uh, 12 days of autumn scrap lifts over at Scrap Squad. And this is the third Thursday, so we're doing day three. And the original is this one that has these leaves kind of cascading down and they're really nicely stitched all around. There's a little cluster here. There's a photo with clusters, uh, one on top of a leaf, one over here by itself, and then a little title cluster there. And my camera tripod is acting up. So I'm going to try to stabilize it. Um, every possible thing that goes into doing what I do and making videos about it um, is, has gone wrong today. I've, well, not exactly today. We all know about my ongoing issues with my tripod and I, every once in a while, uh, get some help and, and get it um, quote unquote fixed and then something else uh, finds a way to to mess up. My printer is um, uh, is not feeding and I actually went online after calling a uh, repair place and being told that um, in general for what I was describing there were good instructions on the the net and I had checked a couple and and it didn't seem like what it was so anyway I I did some of the magic that was prescribed I won't tell you what I consulted or or you know because it it may be right for your printer and I don't want to discourage you from um trying to fix your own yourself um but it didn't work for me and so I I fired up John's printer and I went through, I, I had disconnected it because of all the mold stuff. And I, um, I reconnected it to Wi-Fi and, and got everything, um, you know, read the instruction booklet on a couple of things that I'd forgotten how to do. And um, I got it where it, it actually fed a piece of paper in and spent a good half hour print printing, <laughs> I say in quotes, printing something, but the page came out white. So I had gotten a message that ink was low. I'm going to take it that the ink had completely dried up because the printer hasn't run since, um, since John got sick about a year ago. So it's been sitting there uh, without having been used uh, for a year. So that, that didn't work. So what I'm doing is I'm using... Uh, this photo of Ava, I may actually change out the photo to something more fall appropriate because I'm doing a fall page. You just can't do this lift. I mean, I could have changed those leaves to hearts or birds or butterflies or anything. I just happen to have some pretty leaves in a um, that I fussy cut from this paper in uh, Bungalow Lane, and I pulled some other Bungalow Lane uh, supplies, and I'm going to restrict myself to those. I got a nice sheet of craft paper, and I've got three, um, I've got pink leaves, so I brought in a pink flare, a blue flare, and a, and a reddish orange. Uh, I believe the blue came from... Uh, autumnal or autumn florals. This came from Hello Autumn and this came from the Pink Mix, which are all from the uh, October release. So I have taken, I've fussy cut those leaves, I've put foam on the back, and I did some fake stitching around them so we'll we'll work with that i'm hoping this one goes rather quickly because i really honestly don't know how much longer this um my tripod is going to stand up so let's get busy i know that i want um the leaves to kind of cascade down in a natural looking uh cascade like the original, 
Uh, I've got this one that's cut uh, on an angle there, so it needs to go down at the bottom. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to put this one kind of going that way. This one going this way. And this one kind of... coming down like that why not and then i want to introduce some blue leaves so i've got these which are like uh, crepe paper kind of and i'm gonna they're kind of bent around some stitching so i'm just gonna kind of put that one right there, and I'll use the other blue one. It says, the instructions say to fluff before using in order to get, um, get a dimensional look. So that's what I did there. I've got the photo all on two layers of foam, and I'm going to kind of scooch it in between. Well, I'll do that. And it's a cute photo, and I do want to scrap it. I don't know that I would scrap it with the fall collection, but I'm adding in some pink things to kind of um, repeat the color that's in her shirt. So that's kind of kind of what that's about. And in fact, I'm going to choose a title that is also pink. And... Gonna put it on some foam. It says capture the moment, and that's a good generic title. Uh, I was the moment I was capturing there, and what what captivates me about this photo is her smile, and um, she was um, playing with a piece of Swiss cheese, and she liked having the um, uh, she she used. Um, cookie cutters to cut shapes out of Swiss cheese. She figured it already had holes in it. Why not make bigger holes, I guess. So I'm going to put this down there. Not quite sure. I think I want to put some other embellishments there. I like this cluster right here because it has the blue flower and the pink flower. And I thought it might be nice right there. So let me put a couple layers of foam over off to the side to kind of balance it. Oops. Okay, there. Okay. And then I've got another cluster. When the clusters are already built for you by the manufacturer, it, uh, it makes things you know, really nice and easy. And these are dimensional already. So it's as though I've, um, I've built something. This is gonna add another color in there in that I don't have any yellow, but in the original, there are some uh, other colors that are kind of added in. So I'm going to do this. And if I do it like that, this leaf kind of goes. So that gives me clusters at both of those corners. I can do the title. maybe right exactly under the photo. And then I can add some smaller embellishments 
around there. I don't think, I think, well, I, I was gonna say, I don't think I'm gonna use anything from here, but I might actually, well, no, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll put in the, um, I'll put the flare on and then I'll go smaller than that. I like this blue one and I wanna use it kind of away from where the blue leaf is, because if I put it right there, it kind of gets lost. Um, I kind of like it right there. I will do this red one maybe right here. And the pink one kind of right there. And then I'm going to look at this sticker sheet and find some tiny embellishments that can go on those flare to sort of dress them up to kind of become um, a, a part of the um, the scene here. The vignette, I guess we're going to call it. Uh, let's see. I know somewhere on the table I have a pair of tweezers. And I'm not finding them. So, you know, I have two. In fact, I think I have three pairs of tweezers um, in my holder here. And they get, they scoot down into the holder and kind of get lost sometimes. So, I've got these little gold stars right here that I thought might be nice there on the blue one. There we go. And then on the pink, I've got another little, I've got a star that's like that heart. And it can kind of go off like that. I've also got a, um, I thought maybe a, a there's a, a bunny rabbit that uh, uh, icon that's used, and I, I know that there is a um, a shiny one, a little puffy sticker that's shiny, and it's like covered with acetate, and I can't find that, but I thought maybe. I could introduce it like that. And there's some pink flowers there that kind of play off of her little pink shirt. And I'm gonna put a little bit of tape right there so the photo kind of sticks down on it. Okay, I have I don't really have to do to add anything else to it, but let's see if maybe a butterfly, a small butterfly that repeats the orange color of the leaves might be nice. 
right here. And then maybe a blue butterfly that repeats the, um, the blue color. Maybe down here. Well, or maybe right up here. We'll just do that. Okay, I'm done. I'm happy with this page. Uh, I'm not doing any journaling at the moment um, because I may change the photo out. But if I were to journal about this one, I would talk, it would be one of those um, everyday moment kinds of, of things. Uh, it's not a particularly important story. Um, but it's a pretty way to feature a photo that features that little smile, that precious little smile. So uh, get out there and find a challenge to accept. It, you'll find all kinds of wonderful challenges that will are guaranteed to reinstate your mojo if you if you find it waning uh, over at the uh, Scrap Squad. Uh, albums. They keep their albums out all the time. You can go through and see what's out there and you can give it a shot and then put it in the album for everybody else to see. And you'll love the, the examples that the team has done and everybody who's in that group is just wonderful. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next Thursday for the next Challenge Accepted where we'll do uh, day four of the 12 days of autumn scrap lifts. Thank you for watching. And let me bring this up a little bit closer. Very simple page. You could spend the time that, um, you know, most, <laughs> most legitimate scrappers would doing real stitching. But for me, I get the effect of stitching. There's a little stitching there that, you know, Paige did for me, but uh, I get the effect of, uh, the, uh, I, I, I see the same depth in that photo as, um, or uh, on this page with the fake stitching as I do in this photo of the real one. And it could be just me or uh, I may just be lazy. So the lazy scrapper, I think that name is already taken. But at times, I think we probably all fall into that category. Thank you for watching. This has been fun. Bye.